short code challenge and you work on that for about a week and then they they sit down with you over Skype or something like that and just kind of talk through how you structured your program and why you decided to do things the way you did and yeah it's it's very uh, relaxed um, and it's not anything to be intimidated by but that's basically uh, the process that you go through. Is everything on no. Oh, you have to reach that, right? Yeah. If you, yeah. Also, uh, the program I think costs fifteen thousand right now. Uh, the price has gone up, but they also do offer scholarships, particularly for uh, underrepresented groups in technology and for women. Um, so, if when you're applying, if you kind of highlight that in your application, that's something that they'll consider. Um, and yeah, you do have to worry about your own uh, housing and stuff. But they're. They're really fantastic in helping you get set up with that, but yeah. yeah and last one, the uh, HY is that there's no uh, criteria for that. Any uh, HY is concerned that uh, you are senior citizens already, uh, you are just in the, uh, after your school. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Can you take any HY? Does I mean to say that any H? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they don't have like age requirements at all. I think you have to be at least 18 years old, but um, we've had people. Uh, go through the program that have gone, been like 55 or 60. Um, so, and there, there are people with backgrounds in finance, in education, in music, in arts, um, in consulting. So, people from all different backgrounds. Yeah. Any other questions? No. Yes. Do you want to shout or should I shout? <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, before you start the course, there's actually uh, a huge set of pre-work. It's about 150 hours of pre-work. Um, and if you want, I, if you would like access to the pre-work, there's it's on the Flatiron School website, or you can come approach me, and I can share the link with you. Um, but basically the pre-work is the Code Academy uh, Ruby track. Um, there's also a Rails tutorial um, and a couple other uh, resources that I've used. Ruby Monk is pretty fantastic uh, for learning Ruby, Ruby in 100 minutes. Um, those are all things that I used when, before I started Flatiron. Um, and Flatiron also has their own curriculum um, that they are now putting online um, through a product, which will hopefully be available, I think, in the next month or two, um, but their pre-work is completely free and accessible and it goes through like Git, setting up Git and GitHub, um, Ruby, Rails, SQL, all the basic stuff that you would want to know um, in terms of actually working on developing applications for the web. Okay, yes, hi. And these guys are sitting side by side with Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I probably should have talked about it a little bit more. Um, so the way that Flatiron works is you have lectures uh, in the morning, and then in the afternoon, you basically sit with a group of your peers, and you work through labs together. So it is very much like you're programming in a group. And the, the really awesome thing about that environment is that they encourage you to not code on your own. Because I think when you're starting out, what can really happen is you sit down and you try to work through a problem and you spend hours on it and you don't get anywhere and that's just very discouraging. Um, so what we would do is we would be very much encouraged to work as a team to solve problems um, and then it was also very helpful because when we would start building applications, we would build applications in groups of two or three. Um, so then you kind of like get a little bit of exposure to what it's like to develop a workflow and like um, separating responsibilities and like the different aspects that go into somebody like structuring how an application works versus deploying an application versus designing how it will look on the front end. So everything is very much like interactive and in a group setting and you're never going to be like sitting in a dark room with headphones coding. <laughs> That's just not a thing that we ever really did, which is very, very helpful and indicative of what you'll do as a developer because most companies are looking to hire somebody that can integrate into a larger team of developers and engineers and onboard. Um, so if you have experience doing that, 
that's going to be a huge asset because you know how to work with other engineers and you know how to integrate into a larger team and work on a large code base as a group. Sure. Any other questions? Uh, not really a question, but there is a similar school in Singapore called General Assembly that's actually quite big in the US. Um, they're just going through their first class now. It's probably a little bit cheaper for this region. Um, and also, working in a dark room alone, they probably say it's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I do it too, but yeah, it's just, it can be a little bit hard when you're no, starting. Learning, but yeah. yeah. When, you, when you get to enough of a level where you can do that, that's also very fun. Well, I'll be around, so if you want to ask me a question, do not hesitate to approach me. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.